So we are in uh, the top model of the new Soul um, with a 1.6 liter turbocharged four cylinder and a seven speed double clutch automatic, which is amazing. I'm really, I'm really impressed. I, the Soul looks really cool. I mean, this up, this upgrade and uh, redesign for 2020 is incredibly effective at uh, bringing its style like bang up to date and um, with ultra slimline LEDs and uh, and a look that uh, lots of other cars are going to mirror in the near future. So it looks really, really cool. And then uh, and then the upgrades, you know, just keep going and going and going for the soul. So let's uh, let's talk about let's talk about uh, where this fits in the in the range, and then we will uh, talk about some of the coolest upgrades and then how it, how it drives. I'm in sport mode, by the way. And I got it in I got it in S overall, so I'm in the sportiest setting. Maybe we'll talk about how it drives first. Uh, so it has 201 horsepower and I think 195 foot-pounds of torque through this uh, seven-speed double clutch and uh, front-wheel drive. So although it isn't, you know, uh, traditionally, you know, uh, the shape of, I mean, it's sort of the shape of a hot hatch, but I guess a lot taller. It really does plays the part pretty admirably. I can tell that just from, like the first first thousand yards driving this truck, this little trucklet. Uh, so it's very it's very sporty um, right off the bat, which is cool, and um, and and pretty speedy. It's nice to see that uh, that there is a this nice top model in the Soul range because Soul has been such a global success story for Kia. I mean, they sell a ton of these cars. Even I mean, I think it, it came out uh, more than ten years ago, and basically its its design has been uh, continually updated, but the shape is just sort of uh it's become like a trademark so they've kept a lot of that and uh and upgraded the rest so this kia soul gt line with um with the 1.6 turbo obviously the speediest one but also the most expensive so pricing comes in about 27 grand for this one as a base price and then uh which is uh up significantly versus the um most of the cheapest souls which have a two liter four cylinder and either a stick shift or an automatic and pricing from 17 grand. So really cheap for this amount of space, um, but if you do uh, have the means or um, the desire, you know, obviously you're gonna go for with one with like really cool option packages like this one, like, uh, you know, and, and, uh, and trim like this GT because the, the benefits are really there. So what, what, uh, what else do you got besides a different motor and a different transmission? Well, you got uh, full, like upgraded LEDs, of course, all around, which I think, actually, I take it back. I think the uh, some of the LED elements, uh, like the daytime running lights, are uh, available in some of the mid-spec trims. But, uh, but for this full LED, uh, daytime running lights and headlights and fog lights and tail lights, I mean, it's, it's really a comprehensive, future-proof look for this car. And it looks very cool. In addition to uh, sort of the like a really nice clamshell style uh, nose design, you know, sort of like it looks like a bottle nose a little bit. They have um, they've revamped. They've made the roof line. You know, some of the some of the bread van styling cues are a little bit softer than they were before, but uh, but the essential silhouette is still totally intact, which is great because it's so practical so useful yet also pretty fuel efficient so one of the things Soul doesn't offer versus many of its rivals is all-wheel drive although there is some kind of like X trim or something that has a little bit of extra body cladding and uh, a teeny bit of extra ride height but it is uh, purely a front drive machine which is fine because uh, it really has a city and uh, you know I always think of just like SoCal focus for the Soul um, and the SoCal lifestyle worldwide so it's a uh, it's pretty fun. I mean, I'm really enjoying the drive. This TCT is a uh, is a big upgrade versus the CVT. I think probably the stick shift would be the still the, the most fun, uh, most fun one to drive. But uh, but that only comes with the uh, with the base two liter motor, which has a little you know has uh, a little bit of an edge in displacement, but is down like 40 horsepower versus the other ones. But you can still flog that other soul um, pretty pretty effectively. Handling feels really nice. One of the big upgrades for the GT, again, um, in addition to style and uh, powertrain is just the grip package. I mean, a lot, a lot wider tires, bigger wheels, and more performance focus will give the car a lot better road holding in corners. And that we're demonstrating here with a little bit of eager cornering speeds. 
it's a happy car. It's a really plucky machine, and that is intact in spades for 2020. So some of the other really cool stuff, um, are, you know, are like the paddle shifters, this 10-inch uh, touchscreen nav display. Oh, I can never remember. I think I go, go right here, right on the golf course. Left on the highway. All right, sweet. We're up here in Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin, for the Midwest Auto Media Association's Spring Rally, voting for family cars of the year. And this all really qualifies. I mean, much as this is like a, a single, uh, you know, great for a single person, and and uh, uh, I mean, it's, it's really great for a lot of people. But just the space and the practicality is really good. Um, for, for families as well. Pretty big truck with some, some room under the floor and also you know spare tire under there, which you can't take for granted these days. Um, and then, uh, and obviously with this high roof, I mean, it's just really comfortable and really airy and, uh, and, and spacious, um, which is great for kids and grown-ups alike. So I'm really impressed with the way Soul drives. One of the, one of the things that, um, they, that I wanted Kia to work on after um, driving the previous Soul, which again is like a fun car, but um, it's really fun. But they could have, the body rigidity needed a little bit of help, and um, in order to make the handling like, really, really sound um, when pressing on, and that's in, that's here um, very evidently in this 2020 redesign. It feels a lot stiffer. Um, it's, there's still a little bit of uh, engine note. CVT, you know, it's a performance dream. Thanks. So we got um, electronic parking brake and then and also uh, auto stop start. So you can see like as we as we came um, onto the gas and the stop start system engaged, like there could have been some rollback on that hill that we were on, but uh, but there was none. It's uh, very well managed here, which is just a really these are really. Um, I guess it doesn't have an electronic parking brake, but I guess it has. Um, some kind of rollback prevention, which is good, and um, and uh, we got a parking brake right here. But just really, it's, it feels like it's taken a big upgrade in sophistication, while keeping a lot of its you know youthful flavor and energy intact. So Soul's a pretty cool car, good for families, and uh, you know uh, the young at heart of all ages. So see you guys later. This is Tom Burkhart from Car Daily in the 2020 Kia Soul.